The, the UN Broadband Commission, which of course is co-chaired by uh, Secretary General Hamadun Torre, um, is something that we think is very important. We've been participating in, in the Broadband Commission from the very beginning. One of our key recommendations at the Broadband Commission was that every country should have a national broadband plan. So one of the things that we've done in partnering with the ITU uh, and the Broadband Commission Secretariat is we actually have done a study to examine does it make a difference if you have a national broadband plan? And the short answer is yes, it really does. Now, you know, we have all had anecdotal evidence. We all feel in our hearts that having a national broadband plan makes a difference. But, but what we did was we had 10 years of uh, data, 165 countries, and we built a model. It's called a panel regression model. Um, and actually, it, it is statistically significant. It is very significant. Uh, if, you, if you're a country with a national broadband plan, your broadband adoption is dramatically higher, especially with mobile broadband. So that, the question, does it make a difference? Absolutely, it makes a difference. Um, there are some other findings uh, that I think are extremely important. Uh, number one, the world is so dynamic, the sector is so dynamic, that one of the findings is that it's important to have a periodic review of your national broadband plan. You can't just have a plan and make it static. It evolves. Extremely important. Um, an additional finding that the, the role of government is to set out a vision, but we found that in virtually all of the instances, the major investments, the major building out of a national broadband infrastructure is coming from the private sector. So it's truly a partnership between government and the private sector setting out the vision and then executing on it and building national broadband, uh, broadband plans. Um, and then maybe a, a third really important finding is that competition matters. What we found was that where there's competition, there is a, again, dramatically uh, greater broadband adoption than where there is no competition. So these are empirical findings. Uh, by the way, none of these are surprises, right? We all sort of believe this, but having real data and real analysis and empirically proving the causal relationships here, um, extremely powerful. So this is something that we believe very strongly in and that's why we, we did this with the ITU, we co-sponsored this, we worked very closely with the Commission Secretariat and the ITU and why we felt it was so important that we actually um, do this study in the first place.